Hey everybody, David and David here from payitforward.com and upphone.com and in this video we're going to explain which cell phones get the best reception. This is a pretty common question and the answer might surprise you because it really doesn't have a lot to do with the phone itself. The first big factor is reception, right? And cell phone coverage? Yeah, so it doesn't matter which phone you have. If your carrier doesn't have good service in your area, you're not going to get good reception. So make sure to check out Upphone's coverage maps just to make sure your carrier does have service in your area because you could have the best phone in terms of reception, which we'll talk about in a minute. But if you have no service, doesn't matter. The second point we want to make is that pretty much every cell phone out there has very similar service, right, David? Yeah, all the cell phones. I mean, if you compare the top phones, there's not going to be a big difference in terms of reception or hardware. Uh, PC Magazine did do a study which found the LG V40 did have the best reception, but not significantly. It's not like if you go buy an iPhone 11 Pro Max, you're going to get significantly worse reception than the LG V40. Uh, so really don't get too concerned about comparing which phone's antenna is the best. Think more about your wireless carrier and the phone that you actually like and making sure that your carrier has good coverage in your area. I think that's really good advice, especially thinking about the phone that you actually want because inside of the phones, a lot of these companies are using the same chipsets because there aren't that many companies that are making just antennas for cell phones. Qualcomm is one, Intel is another. 2018, Apple was using the Intel chips, Samsung, uh, LG, they were using the Qualcomm chips. The Qualcomm chips were slightly better than the Intel chips. So it's really more of a question of is, Quan, is Qualcomm better than Intel? And then the phone has a little bit to do with it. Mostly the antenna, but even the antennas are pretty much the same, as David said. Yeah, I, I think if you're a regular user, you're not going to notice a difference between the best antenna and uh, average antenna. It's still going to sound pretty similar. Yep, and data speeds too, pretty similar. Yep. Yep. So if you have weak service in your area, you might want to consider getting a cell phone signal booster. Uh, these can help amplify your signal and help you connect to the, uh, your carrier's cell towers in your area. Uh, SureCall sent me one to try out in my apartment. I do live in the Adirondacks and it can be hard to get service in the Adirondacks. There's a ton of mountains around, a ton of forests. Uh, so maybe consider getting a cell phone signal booster. We'll link to our signal booster article in the description section below and a card above. Yep, David and I are social distancing now more than ever. It's important to have quality service at home, especially because Wi-Fi connections are getting congested because the internet providers, the cable internet, the fiber optic internet providers are also getting congested and more people are at home. So more people are watching Netflix and it's just, it's good to have that backup. If you're struggling with your connection, I like sometimes to just turn off my Wi-Fi on my phone and just use the cellular network and all of a sudden yep. it works well. But that's because I have good signal and good service. Yeah, I've had to, there's been some Wi-Fi outages up here. So I've been relying more on my cellular data uh, when there's some iffy Wi-Fi issues. Also my fiance is working here and she's doing video calls and it's good just to have that solid cellular data speed. So that's what cell phones get the best reception. Thanks for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Leave us a comment down below if you have any other questions. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more great videos about cell phones.